Hello to all you smiling heroes and snarling villains. Welcome to another visual guide dedicated to helping out fellow players such as yourself. Today we'll be looking at the Volcano Mining Facility Elite. A limited time upscaled 4 player alert introduced through the Save the Universe event. My name is Starry and I'll be your guiding light. The first boss will be the Foreman Robot. You will start off by killing a few ads. Once the ads are defeated, 2 out of the 4 terminals in the corners of the room will activate. Missing any of the terminals will result in two bosses spawning instead of just one. After the terminals and the following ad wave, players will fight the buzzsaw foreman or the jackhammer foreman or both at the same time. Both of these bosses have no notable mechanics making this fight an easy tank and spank. The next boss on the list will be Amaze Balls. Amazo has many powerful attacks that happen in no particular order and can overlap so let's jump straight into it. The mechanics that will be discussed first will be pain trains and green light vortex. Amazo will teleport to the middle of the room and pull all players towards him as hard light trains converge on Amazo. Each train does high damage on contact. So not breaking out of the pool fast enough will result in being hit by multiple trains which would be fatal in most cases. Amazo will wheel two trains and spin towards a player, dealing massive damage on contact. He will look at the player he will spin towards before he moves, so players must pay close attention to him before he starts moving. After he's done spinning, Amazo will toss both trains across the room in an opposite direction. And just a quick note, Amazo is capable of comboing these abilities together or he can perform them separately. The next mechanic up will be Snow Nato. Amazo will go to the center of the room summoning a giant tornado before he teleports to the side of the room freezing the tornado in the middle causing it to separate into many tornadoes. These patrolling tornadoes will encase and damage any players they make contact with. Players who break out of the encasement will damage any players around them, so teams should stay spread out while the tornadoes are out. Amazo will zip around the room putting down bat mines on the ground. These mines will explode dealing damage and leaving a damaging bat field in the area if touched. These mines stay on the field until triggered so players can carefully destroy a few on purpose to create a safe zone for themselves. Amazo will lasso and stun all pets and players requiring them to break out through input mashing. Shortly after he will cast heat vision and sweep the room. Players will need to to break out of the lasso as fast as possible they need to block the heat vision or run around Amazo, staying behind him until the sweep is finished. At around 40% health, 4 shielded turrets will spawn inside the arena. These turrets target and deal damage to players the entire time they're up. They can be damaged even while shielded but players will have an easier time destroying them by deactivating their shields when the portal to the terminal room opens up. It's not required to destroy the turrets but teams overwhelmed by their damage can destroy them if they please. This is definitely a lot especially when the mechanics start to overlap but as long as you stay calm and handle each mechanic as they come, you'll be defeating Amazo in no time. The final boss of this instance will be Lex Luthor. One of the first mechanics you'll have to deal with is Lex's war suit. Lex shields himself and summons a war suit. The war suit must be destroyed in order to remove Lex's shield. The war suit will target a player for rocket barrage. Rockets are shot at the player that will explode on contact dealing massive AoE damage. Bombs will fall from the sky exploding after their timer reaches zero. Turrets will appear throughout the fight that will disable Superman. The green beams they shoot will damage players standing in them, so players must avoid standing in the beam's path while destroying all the turrets. At some point during the encounter, the blue and red panels on the wall will break. When the red panel is exposed, it will deal damage over time to all players that will get stronger the longer it's exposed. When the blue panel is exposed, it will deal damage over time to all players while slowing them down until they can't move anymore. Both effects get stronger the longer the panel is exposed. Superman must be free from the turrets in order to close off the panel, stopping their damaging effects. So teams will need to destroy the turrets as fast as possible. While players deal with the turrets and the war suits, they will need to also deal with the following mechanics. Power suit blast is a damaging AoE knockback Lex does after flying towards a targeted player. Cosmic explosion is an attack where Lex will sometimes target players and pets shooting out purple orbs that will explode on contact, creating a damaging field that pulls players to the center of the field. Lex Corp toxic resin is a channeled single target attack used by Lex. This attack will do damage during the channel and explode dealing AoE damage. Players should also note that it can be passed to other players which will deal massive damage to the new target. Be sure to block the duration of the attack and stay away from allies during the cast. Lex will occasionally drop a smoke canister on the ground that will damage players standing in the field while healing Lex if he's standing in the field. After Lex gets to around 35% health, he will shield himself reducing incoming damage. Players will have to pick up the cores on the ground from the defeated war suits and bring them to the designated NPC. After all cores are given to the designated NPC, Lex will be defeated completing the instance. And thanks for watching everyone. The next instance we'll take a look at will be Kandor Central Tower Elite. See ya!